All right, how about this? Ooh, we got a strange one here. 1.5 times 10 to the fifth. We got significant. Grams to pounds. Times 10 to the fifth G. That's the unit for grams. Yeah, I actually know this conversion. I do too. And but you're uh, old. You know all grams that to pounds, right? So I put the grams. I need, now I'm going to go back to my chart here. Grams to pounds. Here it is right here. Yep. One pound is 450, what are you just going to call it? 454. 454 grams is one. Gram weighs a little bit, just a ta tiny amount. Yeah, so, I, I always think of a gram as a paper clip. Yep, paper clip and a kilogram, well, when I learned it in first grade or fourth grade or whatever it was, that my teacher brought out a roller skate, and I'll never forget it. Mrs. Johnson had the paper clip, gram, the roller skate, kilogram, and we all passed it around the room. And felt the and difference. Felt yeah. the difference. Now, the 454 is in the bottom, so right. you're going to need to cancel all right. the grams. Let's put this in calculator. 1.5 Second EE, 5, uh, divided by 454, gives us 330.39 three, six four seven five eight, And that would be pounds. Pounds. So that's correct, right? Um, no. What's wrong? Well, I think we have too many we significant, have too many digits. significant digits. So let's appropriately round this. We have yes. two significant digits in the 1.5 number, yep. and 454 has three significant digits. So our answer digits. needs two significant figures. 330. 330 it is. 330 pounds. Now that zero right here is not, not significant. significant. Now it's part know. of the number. It's not 33. Right. It's 330, but that zero is not significant. That's correct. All right. All right. Let's do a couple more. 32 centimeters to feet. Mm. So 32, actually 0.4 centimeters over one. Now, I want to convert from centimeters to feet. Right. And actually, I'm going to do this in a different way because yeah, I want to do a multi. Yeah, let's do two steps here. All right, this is a dimensional analysis practice. Let's go back here. Mm -hmm. So 2.54 centimeters and one inch. So we know there's this is inches, and mm -hmm. then inches and a foot we know. I know there's another way to do this, guys, using this fraction, but we want to do a multi-step problem because yeah. you need to see that. Okay, so I'm going to go centimeters, put the unit centimeters. So actually, I'm going to go from centimeters to inches and then inches to feet. So centimeters to inches. Now notice that little that little chart, the, the kind of flow chart with the arrows he made up at the top. Okay. I always come up with a game plan. What am I going to yeah. convert to what first? And then I go look for the conversions. Yeah, that's indeed. So and I know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch, or you get that uh -huh. from the table. I happen to have it memorized. You probably can, we just saw that. Yep. And now I can make another one more railroad track. And I see inches are here on the top, uh -huh. so I'm going to put inches on the, on the bottom, and I'm going to put feet on the top. And we did that just a minute ago. Yep. There was, of course, 12 inches in one foot. Now my inches cancel, and I'm left with feet. Okay. Now, now, this is a very important thing to understand. We have two numbers, and they're both on the bottom. So on your calculator, you're going to push divide, divide. Right, so 32.4 divided by, by 2.54 divided, divided by 12. 12. Do not hit the multiply sign. Okay, 1.062992126. I'll stop there. All right. Three sig figs. I see three sig figs. Now, wait a second, Mr. Mm -hmm. Sams. There's 12 inches in a foot. Isn't that yes. two sig figs? That is an exact number. Yeah. So oh. there are exactly 12 inches in one foot. So 12.000000. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the key thing is, is when you're rounding, folks, actually, uh, in it's terms of sig figs. Basically based on your initial measurement. Your first measurement. Yeah, don't which, let your conversion factors So I'm going to round that to three figs. digits, which would be the 6, the 1.06. That 2 right there does not round that. So that will be 1.06 feet. Guys, let me. All right, guys, don't make the mistake of hitting the times button. Let me show you what not to do. Don't go 32.4 yeah. divided by... 2.54 times 12. Okay, that doesn't work. It yeah. works if you use parentheses, but just don't do it. The okay, you get the wrong the answer. Are divided. Right, 32.4 divided by 2.54 divided, divided by, by 12. 12. And that's got, how you put it in. If you got a, a problem like this with it has 30 of these things and you got 20 of them that are on the bottom, you divide, 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 divide. Right. Multiply on the top and every divide number the bottom. That's the rule. Look at the rules. You wrote down the rules. I think we got a couple more examples. Yep. We know inches to miles. Ooh. Ooh, this is an interesting one. So I've got five. 0.5 times 10 to the fifth inches over one, and right. I want to convert to miles. Now, I don't think that I know that how many inches are in a mile. No, but I know there's 12 inches in a foot. So I can go from inches to feet. And I know how many feet are in a mile because we live in Colorado. Yeah. So we all know well, that. Well, now it's just an easy. We're just yeah. going to do the math here. All right. So I'm going to say inches. Notice I'm putting the letters first, the yeah. units. Inches to feet. Well, we know that. Yep. There's 12, 12 inches, in, inches a in a foot. And the inches cancel. And now I just make another fraction. Now the feet's on the top, so go feet to Up miles. Up there, miles on the top. And so there's 5,280. 5, Denver's called the Mile High City. Step 5, number 13 on the Capitol. 
There you go. All right. And uh, feet to feet. Okay. So now, they, this is both on the bottom. So they, they are. Divide okay, divide. so 5.5, second EE. Yeah, don't forget the five. EE. We're not using the times. We're not using the 10. We're not using the carrot. We're second EE. 5.5, second EE, 5. E. Divided by 12. Divide. Divided by 5,280. Enter. 8.68. No, 8.7. Two sig figs. 8.68, and that would be miles, Oops. or we can only keep two sig figs because yep. of this, so it would be 8.7 miles. miles. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's do a nasty one. All right. How about years Ooh, to minutes? It looks so fun. 4.5 times 10 to the minus fifth. I'm going to let you write. I'm going to go get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Over one. And I want to convert that to minutes. Now I need to go plan here. So I need to go from years to, I'll probably go to days, right? Days to hours, and then hours to minutes. So this is going to have an additional fraction. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go years to days. OK, so if you remember, there's 360. Four? Five. Sixty-five. You're not done yet. Days in a year. I'll no. Come, I'll come back. All right. Years cancel. And then I'm going to go from days to hours. So I can say a day versus an hour. Notice how I do the letters first. Of course, we know there's 24 hours in one day. Days cancel now. And now I go from hours to minutes. Hours down the bottom and then minutes. And of course, we know there are 60 minutes in one hour. And the hours cancel, and that will give me the answer. So now, Mr. Oh, Sam's you got, you got it set up finally. I do. All right, what do we got? Four point five double e. Second e. Negative five. Negative five. Times three sixty five. It's three sixty five. Times twenty four. Times twenty four. Times sixty. Times sixty. And we don't have to do anything with ones. Twenty three point six five two is our calculator answer. So that'd be minutes. Minutes. Now, is that the correct answer? No. Round we want two, two. Years. so we're going to best call that uh, 24, 24 minutes. minutes. Not terribly difficult, okay? Hey! I think we're done. I think we're done. A lot of math today, so sorry. Yep. But that's it. Got to learn it, guys. The most important thing you'll do all year. Yes, indeed.